One of the beautiful things about Urban Street is it's now bringing in money to the council and we estimate around £1.4 million is going to come into the council through Urban Street this year. Uh, that's going to rise to £1.7 million next year, so it's, it's been hugely successful for us. It is a very small amount of money. Uh, I think the average for a band is around fifteen, sixteen hundred pounds. So some of that goes to the fire service, some to the police, some to the county council, and only one hundred and forty pounds of that comes to the district council. And for the range of services that we provide, emptying the bins, sweeping the streets, licensing taxis, looking after restaurants, all those sort of things, planning, enforcement—you know—it's a huge raft of services for such a small amount of money. Well, this is a £5 increase, which is always regrettable, but it's around about inflation. It's about 3.6%, 3.7%. We believe that actually it's better for us to provide those services rather than cut those services that I've mentioned. Uh, and, and having to increase council tax is one of those things we have to do. So we're generating income from Ermine Street. We're raising council tax by a small amount, 10 pence a week. But we're also looking to make about £4.4 .4 million of savings over the next five years. So that's a huge amount of savings that we still have to find, even though we're actually increasing our income from elsewhere. Okay, so here we are in Northstow and this document is South Cambridgeshire District Council's plan going forward. We've been asking people across the district what are the things that really matter to you and the two things that people have come back with are transport, getting about, you know, being able to move around without too much hassle and housing. And so what we're doing is playing those sorts of interests, concerns, ambitions into the district council plan going forward. And the good thing about North though is, as you can see, we've got houses coming up out the ground at a rate of knots. We've got a guided bus over there, which is incredibly popular and usable. We've got the school over there that's, that's already open. It's planned, it's sustainable and it's happening fast and those are the things that we aim to do in South Cambridge.